of the cherry. You have come here together so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of this community. In this way you will be strengthened to keep mutual and lasting faith with each other and to carry out the duties of marriage. And so, in the presence of this community, I ask that you state your intentions. Jason and Sherry, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Since it is your intention to enter true in marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His church. Jason, would you have Sherry to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love and honor and comfort and keep her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, forsaking all others and keeping yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? Yes, sir. Sherry, will you have Jason to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love and honor, comfort and keep him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, forsaking all others, and keeping yourself only for him as long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. Jason, you want to repeat this after me? I, Jason. I, Jason. Take you, Sherry. Take you, Sherry. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. This day forward. This day forward. For better or for worse. For better or worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. Sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do we part. Till death do we part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And therefore I pledge you my love. So therefore I pledge you my love. And Sherry, repeat after me. I Sherry, I Sherry, take you, Jason, take you, Jason, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, <laughs> to have and to hold, to have and to hold, this day forward, this day forward, for better or worse, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and therefore I pledge you my love, and therefore I pledge you my love. Yeah. <laughs> May the Lord 
bless these rings which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. The wedding ring is the outward sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Jason, you take these, place it on the finger. <laughs> You repeat after me. In token and pledge, in token and pledge of our constant faith, constant faith and abiding love, abiding love, with this ring I thee with. With this ring I thee with. Sherry, if you would put the ring on Jason's finger, repeat after me. In token and pledge, in token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith and abiding love, and abiding love with this ring, with this ring I thee with. Now we're going to get a little bit more churchy. Okay. <laughs> Normally we would have a reading, but Jason wanted this as short and as sweet as we could So, in the book of Genesis, when God created everything, he saw how good it was. And he told man to have dominion over everything. Man was still not happy. So God cast a deep sleep on him. And he took from him a ring. And I always ask myself, why did God take a man's rib to create a woman? Because that is the closest thing to your heart. Sherry should be the closest thing to your heart. She should not be ahead of you. She should not be behind you. She should be by your side the rest of your life. That's important. But the most important thing is take this from somebody who's been married for 41 years. When you learn how to say yes, dear, you will live with her <laughs> And so, my brothers and sisters, let us ask God for his continued blessing upon his bridegroom and his bride. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for the married life, we humbly pray to you for this bride who today is united with her husband in the bond of marriage. May your fullest blessing have come on her and her husband so that they may together rejoice in your gifts of married life. May they be noted for their good lives and be ears filled with virtue. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come to last in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations. Jason, because you and Sherry have desired each other in marriage and have witnessed this before God in our gathering, affirming their acceptance and responsibility for such union, and have pledged their love and faith to each other, sealing their vows in the giving and receiving of rings, I do proclaim that they are husband and wife in the sight of God and the sight of man. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Jason, you kiss your bride.